Right. So uh, let's just stop and think for a second. I'll, I'll try and do what Josh did uh, yesterday, namely, um, let's, what, what sorts of questions might we ask about this situation? That's, that's the entire dance, okay? Twist, rotate, and then display, which really doesn't do anything except display to the, uh, to the audience, right? So, so what sorts of questions might you have about, these are called tangles, okay? I'll, that, that, uh, I stole this from a guy named John Conway. And he call, it's called Conway's Rational Tangles, as we'll see. So well, what sorts of questions might you ask? What does 12 look like? Well, I think we know what 12 looks like, right? <laughs> yeah, it'll be six, six complete sure. turns, okay? Yeah? Aha, uh -huh. does that the same as a, it, it is a negative rotate the same as, the same as the positive rotate. Okay, that's good. So, yeah, three positive rotates is the same as one negative. Right. We know one thing for sure. But what do you know if you do four rotates in a row? Everybody's standing exactly where they were. So you know for sure that rotate, 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 rotate. Whatever mess you had here is going to be exactly the same mess after four rotates. Okay. Oh, yeah, so, so you could also say, what if we had, I mean, I arbitrarily said, or seemingly arbitrarily said, that, that the, the twist always occurs over here. Yeah, that's another interesting thing. What would happen if we did twists the, on, on this end rather than this end? Yeah. But my, and the main question I had was, well, oh, yeah, that, that's an interesting thing. If you have an arbitrary, Mixture, you know, suppose that we sort of flip a coin and decide to do twists and rotates and do a whole bunch of them. We get some nightmarish tangle in here. Is it possible using only twists and rotates to get back to, that's not obvious, right? Because if, in, in the first case where all we had was twists, we know it's impossible to get back because all it's going to do is keep getting twisted tighter and tighter and tighter. But if you do twists and rotates and, you know, each time you do a rotate, you turn the mess perpendicular to the way it was, and now you're twisting on that and then turn that sideways and twist on that and so forth. Since you're only twisting in the same direction, is there some way to undo whatever you did? Then the, the, the thing I started off with is I said, what, twist is add one. So in other words, whatever number you start with here, if we do a twist, we add one to that number. So what's another obvious question? If we, what, is, what does rotate do to a number? So in, in, in other words, if we've somehow gotten into a situation where the, the tangle here is represented by the number x, what does rotate do to x? Or is there even a, a, an operation that'll do it, okay? And, and, and then that's sort of related to this other question, namely, to the previous question, namely, if we start with some weird mixture of twists and rotates, is it always possible to get back to zero? If we start from zero, namely two parallel ropes here, we do some mess of twists and rotates, is it always possible to get back to zero? Okay, good sets of questions maybe? Okay, so uh, I don't need you anymore. <laughs> I'll need I'll need other volunteers later.